Hey guys, today I'm going to show you this Astro AI portable car air pump and it features a flashlight, LED screen, smart preset mode, and a power bank. And here are a bunch of other more specifications listed about this pump. So this has some pretty nifty features. Now without wasting any time, let's get right into the unboxing. So here we have a thank you sticker note from the company. The instruction manual. And I will also be including the purchase link down in the description box below for this product. So please check that out. So right over here, we can see this is the portable pump. And as you can see, it has a nice design and pretty portable as the company states. And here we have other ports and a flashlight. And here we can see there are some more specifications. Now this air pump is rechargeable so you can charge it with type C cable. And this is the air pump cable which will pump air into your product. And this also comes with other accessories as well, which I'm showing you right here. So there are multiple attachment heads. As you can see, this is a smaller one. There's also a longer one and a ball inflating one too. And here is the company's website with more information on the product. Now let's actually see the features of the product. So let's turn it on. And as you can see, this has a nice simple layout. And here we have the plus minus buttons and the modes changing button. This has five modes. So car mode, motorcycle, bicycle, ball, and custom mode. So it is all up to your preference. And then to set the desired pressure level, you can use the plus and minus to increase, decrease it. And then you have to wait three seconds. It will flash three times before it will confirm and set. Now let's fill up the air in my Tesla Model Y tires. So as you can see, my rear right tire is low on pressure. Tesla recommends 41 to 42 PSI, but right now I'm at 29 PSI. So let's use our Astro AI pump and let's fill it up all the way up to 41 PSI. So let's attach the cable. So there's the whole orange matches with orange. Now you just screw it in. And then let's remove the tire uh, pressure valve cap. Just like that. Now we can just insert it like that and then lock it in, press it down. It just locks in pretty nice and tight. And then let's now turn our machine on. So as you see, it shows our current PSI, which is 28.5. And we are going to be setting it to 41. So now let's wait for three seconds. It confirms. And now we are ready to start. Okay, so as you saw, once it hit 41 PSI, it automatically shut off the machine. You can just set your desired PSI and it will turn off automatically. Pretty cool. So this device also acts as a power bank right on top. You can see there is the USB port. So we can take a USB cable, plug it right in, and it will charge our phone. So just plug it right in and it will start charging our phone. So pretty awesome if you are running low on battery, this can be a lifesaver. Okay, so one thing to notice on this machine is that it comes with multiple pressure measuring mode. So currently I am on PSI mode as we use it in US and many people use it as well in other countries. But this also comes with other couple modes. So we can press this button right over here we can have to hold it for like one second. So when you hold it, it will change to bar mode. So if you live in that country or if you prefer to that, you can choose bar mode 
or you can do KPA mode or you can do kg centimeter mode so according to your preference you can fill it up with that measurement but I'm going to be using PSI now here we can see the flashlight on our machine so it has three different modes first is just a normal white light as you can see and then here we have a slower flashing red light and then a fast strobe so you can use this in emergencies now let's fill up our deflated ball right over here this is a volleyball ball we use our attachment and then here we can just put it inside and then lock the cable in place just press it down and boom we are ready to inflate it And then make sure to put it on ball mode and then set your desired PSI according to the ball requirements. So I'm setting it at 6 and now it's inflated. And then it automatically stopped just like that so pretty cool. You can see our ball is nicely filled up. You can also fill up a pool float as well. As you can see it is nicely inflated and we are ready to jump in our pool. Pretty awesome. So I will have the link for this in the description box below so please check that out and make sure to like, share and subscribe.